Well, just cold. It's going to be some of the coldest we've seen probably in a generation for some of you as well. Uh, for those that weren't around in the 80s, uh, that was the last time it was this cold in December, and we're going to not get quite as cold as that, but pretty darn close to it. 45 degrees out there right now. Drizzle mist fog here in town. Not the prettiest of weather outside right now, and this is kind of how we'll see things throughout the day. 46 Jasper to Alabaster, 44 gas into Asheville right now, 45 view over in Dagan. We'd have the clouds, the drizzle mist continuing here this morning, and that's something be looking at as we go forward throughout the morning hours, then mostly cloudy this afternoon. Temperatures not bad, 56 degrees, about what it's supposed to be this time of year anyway. And so that'll be your hot. It gives you plenty of time to get all those preps done to your home before the Arctic air arrives for tonight. And that is going to arrive here by tomorrow morning. Extremely cold. We're talking about a weather aware Friday and Saturday because the bitter cold, the wind chills below zero, and definitely that pipe bursting weather across the region. We've been talking about this. There is our Arctic front. This is kind of the edge there of the cold air working its way down toward Dallas now this morning, heading close to Chicago back into Canada. Behind that, temperatures below freezing. Ahead of it, we're above freezing, uh, but not by much. You can see here over in Chicago area, temperatures there currently at 32 degrees, but 8 Oklahoma City. How about 18 below in Bismarck, 13 below in Denver right now. And we're looking at temperatures here continuing from the 50s this evening. That was here at 7 o'clock, we're at 51 degrees. Notice the showers here, but notice back here to the west, yeah, a little bit of some snow trying to make its way into the area. That potential will exist here even on into 9 o'clock tonight. You can see maybe a few flurries around the area as the front moves in. No accumulation expected with this, but you may see a few of those snowflakes moving through. We clear out tomorrow morning. We're talking single digits to teens by 6 a.m., but the wind chill will be even colder than that. By the afternoon hours may try to get to 20 degrees. Most of you staying into the teens and then heading on into Friday night and Saturday morning, starting off there in the teens, single digits as well with those wind chills expected across the region. So that's kind of what we're talking about out there. Look at these winds by nine o'clock tonight here again, 30, 35, 40 mile per hour winds even into tomorrow morning and by tomorrow afternoon it stays quite breezy out there and that's why we have those dangerous wind chills expected out there with those breezy conditions all day Friday into Saturday. Friday morning wind chill five below here, 13 below in Coleman, gas in Asheville eight degrees below zero. So we do have that wind chill warning in effect here from Birmingham to the north. Basically that says we could have wind chills at 10 degrees below below zero here. Wind chill advisory means the wind chill would be anywhere from about zero to five below zero. So regardless where you are, it's going to be dangerously cold and you need to protect yourself and stay warm. Saturday morning, we're docking temperatures there into the single digits and teens. We only warm up to the 20s by the afternoon. If you go into church services Saturday evening, it'll be in the 20s to start falling to the teens by the time they are over. And that wind chill on Saturday morning, again, still around two, two degrees below zero. Bitter cold weather is anticipated. Now Christmas morning won't be as windy. That's good news. 16 degrees though when you wake up, getting only to maybe 32 to 34 degrees. If that's the case here, we'd only be above freezing for just a few hours. So we're expecting a prolonged freeze here, potentially up to 84 hours below 32 degrees. That is pipe bursting weather out there. Protect people, pets, and of course those pipes. Plants too as well, though most of them outdoors of course are dead by this point. However, now's the time. Wrap those exposed pipes and detach those hoses from your house. Wrap them in foam or a towel and use duct tape to keep them together. Cover those spigots with a spigot cover towel. Tonight, drip those faucets. Again, the sink farthest away from where water enters the house from the street. Open those cabinet doors. Let's all that heat into those pipes as well, too. If you must be outside the next couple days, you better bundle up. Within 30 minutes, you could have hypothermia or possibly even frostbite. So definitely bundle up. Lows stay cold through Monday morning. Finally, we get above freezing Monday and in the 50s heading into 